Hi everybody, it's Melissa. How's it going in your neck of the woods or city or wherever you may be? Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're gonna have a, continue to have a great day even after you watch this. Oh, I got a little teeny tiny unboxing that quite frankly I already unboxed halfway and you know, um, I did that, sorry. I can't help myself sometimes. But we get to look at it together thoroughly anyway. I got my little cloth and paper order today. And I'll show you the things that I already took out of it to start using. I finally got one of these pens that I absolutely love that's clear. They finally got those back in stock. And so I got one of these. And I always get it with the 0.5 nib because it just, it writes a lot smoother. Uh, once you get down to a 0.4 and below, it's just gonna start being a little bit scratchy. And I don't have the best handwriting anyway, so the smoother, the better. But 0.5 seems to be my sweet spot in all of my pens that I have. I really, really like this nib and I love this. I still have those three coming from uh, Japan. They're just kind of, um, you know, taking a loop around the world right now. I've got a clear one like this, and then the pink one, and a blue one. They're still clear, they're semi-clear, but they're just colored, you know, frosted, like my white and black one are that I have. So anyway, I love this, love it. And they just, it's so cool, because they clip. And you know what a struggle that can be, trying to find the perfect pen to fit into your imperfect pen hole in your planner you know what i mean you know what i mean you've been there you feel the pain okay and then what else i got that i went ahead and put in here were just a couple of the little goodies they send you the little journaling cards so i got the january one which i love just stuck her right in there and then it also came with this one and I'm, I'm not really, uh, not going to lie. I think it says, in a great soul, everything is great. Yes, I think that's what it says. So, it's pretty either way. And then I also got, this is one of the ones they're also sending out, I think. Yeah. Anything worthwhile requires work. And amen, that's the truth. That is so the truth. That is a lesson. That our young folks, not all of them, but every young person needs to learn. They really, really do. Okay, so, and the rest of it, we shall look at right now. It's not a huge haul, just a few things. The main thing is, this stuff was wrapped so beautifully, guys. So beautifully. I just love the way they do their stuff. I mean, really, really pretty. That's the white one that I took out and exchanged the clear one for. <laughs> Love those things. I'm a lefty. But anyway, they have it wrapped up in tissue paper that just so nice. Their packaging is so nice. Of course, most planner people pack their, their stuff very nicely. If you've ever ordered anything off Etsy or anywhere else, you'll know that people really, really do a great job. And then I ordered yet another refill for this one's 0.5. I already have a couple of those that I've already ordered. But uh, refills and pens that are your favorite pens that you use all the time, you can never have too many. And then I have never ordered these before. I got some of the transparent uh, sticky notes from Matt. I think they're transparent a little bit. But anyway, I've got a set of these. I just, you get 50 and they're usually around $45 each. And to me, that's just like four to five in case you thought I said 45 said four to five dollars each this one i really like because it's got list on it so you can just jot out a quick little list and smack it somewhere especially if you haven't if you've got stuff that you need to transfer from one planner to the next which i generally do that's what that's perfect for and then this is just well same thing you can use for the same thing obviously but it's a little bit more transparent and it just looks kind of good on your pages They've got the circles, they've got the dots, they've got the teardrops, they've got the little page flags, they got all kinds of stuff. Eventually, I want everything from everybody. I just placed a big order from Planner Press, for Planner Press today off Etsy, and I got some really cute stuff from them, so I can't wait to get that and show you. 
And I think I still have some other stuff on the way. I'm not sure about that. I did place um, an Erin Condren order. She's got something new this year that I am pretty stoked to show you. It's really, really, I think it's going to be really, really cool. But yeah, I'll show you as soon as it gets here. And that was just my invoice. And then this I got for the B6 that I have ordered uh, through Vendor Spec, a custom. It won't be here for probably a couple of months at least. But, you know, you know how planners are. We plan ahead. That's what we do with our lives. So, I went ahead and got the whole year. And I got the vertical, which I love. It also, you know, has the, of course, this belongs to. Then you got your year at a glance. Um, your table conversion. See your conversions from liquid, temperature, distance, weight. And holiday observances all over the place. And then you get your monthly, too. Now, if you, I bought just the monthly by itself from my A5. And it was like $16, $17. So it's really cool that with their weeklies, for an entire year weeklies, you also get your entire year monthlies. So that is, that's great. And so you have your little notes here. This one does have the holidays on it. I don't know if you even get that option or not. But I didn't have my holidays on my last, the ones I was using last year. And I kind of found myself wishing I did <laughs> because I was forgetting when things were. So any reminder we can have is probably a good one. You got your uh, previous month and your next month up here. And then this is what the weeks look like. And one thing that um, is different this year, Cloth and Paper kind of redid, revamped their look a little bit. Some people like it, some people don't. The letters, uh, excuse me, letters, numbers for your months and you know weeks and so on used to be a lot more prominent. They were bigger easier to see. Um, I kind of liked the way they were before myself, but me just always getting into the, you know, to the train late, I always miss the ride. So yeah, so that's a little bit different. That's what it looks like in my A5, the one where I got all the weeks for, um, from the previous year and I've redated them all. So they'll work this year because I'm frugal like that. Missed out on these like that. So I had to buy the whole thing, but that's a big revamp and like i said a lot most people are not too fond of it that i've i've heard feedback from so far but i mean in the big scheme of things in the whole wide world you know is that going to make us or break us i don't think so and then you know it just repeats itself repeats itself and i will have to read all this maybe if i can stay awake that long but I think that's going to be on every one. Of course, you always have your note sections. Ah, the ants are coming back since it snowed outside. They're like, I'm not staying in this. <gasps> okay. Then for your starter page, you have this, which I like. I always like these. These are great. I can, you know, basically it's a month at a glance. Just write down the important things, your bill, bills that you have to pay that month. <laughs> Although, uh, one thing I wish cloth and paper would listen to me on uh, this little section for the bills, that doesn't cut it. <laughs> I guess you can write your main bills on that. But if you're like me, you got a lot more bills than this to pay. So, <laughs> my one little criticism right there. And then repeats, rinse and repeats. Again, again, again. So, this is the B6. Like I said, I, oh, she must just have a little writing by different people. That's Maya Angelo. You know, like I said, I won't ever sit down and read it. I'm not going to lie. I can't concentrate and focus that long. Ugh. But at the end of the weeks, you also get, and I love these contacts. So I can read, I'll redo my contacts and put them in here. For me, I, the main ones that I focus on are my doctors and my doctors. Because I pretty much have enough doctors to, you know, cover all these pages sad but true but anyway i like that that's always welcome and so what i was thinking about doing 
I want to see how much larger because honestly when I first saw this I didn't I was thinking it, it they had got me the wrong size that it was uh personal wide but it's, no it's B6 and I wanted to see how much um bigger it was compared to my personal wide oh yeah definitely you can see it see B6 isn't that much larger but you do get a little bit more space. You get maybe a quarter inch there, quarter inch there. A little bit more space. So what I thought about doing was using the first few months of this in my planner that I currently have, my, my personal wide vendor spec. Um, otherwise, or I could put them in the B6 that I currently have, but I will use them more in this planner because this is my main, this is my main girl right here. I don't know, because I've already got stuff set up, and I've already got weeks done, and I've got dated weeks in here as, as well, and I do love these weeks, too, because they have the habit tracker on them. See right there? These are my PT paper ones. I love the paper. It's so smooth. It's so smooth. So, I don't know. And, but... And the months that I have, I have the month at a glance as well as the um, two-page month. So, I have, oopsies, this one, which I really, really like. Because you do, you get your month at a glance, and then you get a month on one page. But then I also have those. So, I don't know, girlies. I don't know how I messed up and... Oh, I do know how I messed up and missed that. Never mind. I need to separate these. I need to just leave these in here for now. Honestly. Because that's why I purchased them for so I wouldn't bulk my planner up. Because I have so much other stuff that goes in here. Just once I should actually follow, follow through with the plan. Don't you think? Just once. <laughs> There's just so much out there that's so pretty and cute and everything and diverse. So, yeah, I just I'm not gonna let the first couple of months go to waste. That is for sure. That would be silly, completely silly. So I'll have to sleep on that one. These are definitely going into my personal life. And the thing about when I get my B sets. I may start using it as the main planner, just depending upon how I like carrying it. Because you guys, I've had, I've got a B6 currently, and I've had a B6 before. Never did like the way they felt carrying them as much as I did my personal wide. But I've never had a vendor spec B6. So this will be, um, you know, a different thing, definitely. Beautiful color. I put, uh, it's got this beautiful gray color on the outside made out of the buffalo leather. And then on the inside, I think I got the Parme pink again because I love gray and, and light colored pink like that together. So 30 mil rings. So I have as much room ring wise in it as I do having this one. Um, major big difference would be the inside of it because this is the TM. So it's got everything. It's got your, you know, your secretarial, your um, zippers, your pockets, as well as your big back pocket, and both, you get two, can you see it? There you go. You get two pin loops, which I love. Um, and this one won't have that, because outside of just the, co you know, the colors and everything, there's no, um, fanciness in it. I think I got the gold rings. I'm not sure that might, I might not have even done that, but it won't have the outside pocket. I know that. So I will just have to see. We'll have to we'll have to think it through. Probably won't know to actually get it in my hot little hands and see how that works. The way I use my B sits planner right now is just decorative. I just love playing with it and decorating layouts because I don't do that so much anymore in this. I'm actually um just more or less writing in this the things that I need to write. And so I use my little happy planner and my uh, the B sets, not even my A sets, but my B sets for for decorating and doing pretty spreads and layouts. So 
well, don't know. I'm also getting the new A6, which is my, you know, carry around with me everywhere, girl. I'm thinking about going back and even though I've got stuff, I'm, I'm really wanting to be cohesive. I want things to look put together and everything. And so even with my um, A6, where I've got so many different things from different planner shops and stuff, I'm thinking about going and getting um, cloth and paper. Um, the entire thing like this is and making it all pretty like that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, there she is. I ordered cloth and paper for the first time a couple of months ago. I had been looking at it and lusting over it and wondering about it and finally took the plunge, stuck my whole foot in instead of just my toe, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a nice little company. And to think, they started back in 2015 and everybody loves cloth and paper. You know, it's it's definitely more of a, it's definitely a minimalist aesthetic, absolutely all the way. Um, they don't even do, you know, the uh, uh, stickers or anything. They just do the stickies that you need, like the dots and things like that. So for you girls that have an itch to decorate, I suggest you stick with your happy planners for that because those are awesome. I actually just ordered a new happy planner order last night so that should be coming in in a while uh, so i've got erin condren coming um planner press coming and happy planner coming and then in a few couple of months i got two new vds planners coming i'm running out of things to order which my husband's like yay <laughs> well i'll never get tired of ordering stuff off etsy oh my gosh i just love their stuff it's so much fun so anyway, guys, there she goes. I got my new little cloth and papers. I'm really looking forward to using those. I'm totally tickled over my, um, I tried to get that to match my planner and I, don't, I think I did a pretty good job, don't you? Pretty good. All right, guys, so I will also have those pens coming. I have no clue when they're coming. So I can't give you a clue on that one. Well, I'm still hoping they're coming pretty soon. You know, they at least made it out of Japan. They're in America, on American soil now, I think. I think that's good. For a long time, they just sat. I think this company is called Stationery Pal, if anybody's ever ordered from them before. I got so excited because I found the pens on there when everybody was saying the only place you could get them was cloth and paper, which is not true because I got one from those Color Days as well. The white one I got from those Color Days. And... Um, I just decided to do a Google search just of the pen itself, and that little store popped up. They were relatively cheap compared to, um, the other prices I was paying. So, but it's taking forever. It's taking forever. Kind of like a Wish thing, I think. You know, the app that you can order from Wish, but it takes it forever to get here. Same thing I think with AliExpress, but I don't think AliExpress took as long with um, getting my stuff to me as this has. But And I've got three, so I can wait on these three. It's not that big of a deal. I'll just get a surprise in the mail one day. Hey, there's your pins. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this sweet, small video and hope you enjoyed the unboxing. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and leave me a like. That really helps me out a lot. It tells YouTube that you want to see more of my videos. And so they actually throw me up there in their little algorithm. And as always, please leave comments. When you leave, leave comments, I always comment back. All right, guys. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you next time. Bye.